Hi, this is Jeremy. And this is Becky. We're kind of epic. And today we've got a special guest with us. Uh, my dad is here. Ron, say hi. Hello. <laughs> so we just had him uh, try out the Apollo 11 VR experience, and we thought we'd have him join us to do a review. What did you think? Oh, it was it was awesome. I, I lived through this as a kid. You know, I watched it on TV, and it was really cool to go through it. I really enjoyed it. That's really realistic. I, yeah, I really very. liked um, being able to look out the window and watch the oh, earth yeah. fall away. And you, know, you could look out and bend over and look straight down. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. Yeah, you can see the curvature of the earth start mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to display. And then, uh, so yeah, it takes you through basically the whole mission in about 30 minutes. Uh, it does a quick, it does the um, TV broadcast with the JFK speech. Mm -hmm. Uh, then goes into a flyby of the um, the rocket from the outside. From the outside. Uh, yeah. Then you follow um, them riding up the elevator, and then we've started here in the um, the actual takeoff or the liftoff uh, countdown and everything, uh, which is I guess where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the speech in the beginning is is Kennedy's speech before the first before Apollo 11, and um, it's one of the most beautiful speeches I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, can't think of a better speech by any president at any time. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yep. Um, so we skip that because we're going to talk over it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here, we're, they're here starting they to take off, yeah. yep. and it's just it's just neat. It, I got a little bit of vertigo with it, but not too bad. I got um, more vertigo when they panned in on that gantry the first time mm -hmm. and it slipped around and that thing was huge. Yeah. Up at it. Mm -hmm. I got a little vertigo there. Mm -hmm. I didn't get much here. Mm -hmm. Did you have any problems? Um, I think just after this, when you're out in space and they were kind of flying by the module no, or anything, I that love was all. That. Yeah, isn't that amazing? That. Yeah, yeah, that's quite a view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, the one thing that really surprised me was uh, the the sense of scale you really get, like oh, to yeah. see just how tiny that module is out there yeah. in space. Right, it makes you feel like an ant. Uh -huh. I, I cried a little. Oh, did you? Yeah, really? it made me cry a little because you I just a, feel. I had a heavy feeling in my chest. Uh -huh. It was so neat. Yeah, yeah, just to see like you just see the Earth, and it's like, and then it keeps getting smaller mm -hmm. and smaller as, mm -hmm. as the the and thing look progresses. Back along the eastern seaboard, and you can uh -huh. pick up Boston, New York, and. Mm -hmm. Down toward Florida. Yeah, yeah, it's just amazing. It's it's awe inspiring in a way that nothing nothing has ever been for me before. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. I mean, you raised me to really enjoy um, astronomy and and, oh, yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. because he my dad had a um, one of those big giant telescopes when I was growing up. Oh, not too big. It only had, <laughs> it only had a twenty six inch mirror and weighed about a thousand pounds. Yeah, it was big. It took it it lived in the backyard. Right. And yeah. And um, and he used to take me out there and and we'd look and look at the stars and to be able to be up and in the stars like an astronaut was mm -hmm. just it's mm -hmm. just beautiful. Yeah, it's like a dream come true. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yep. It's one of the things I love the most about VR is that you can experience things that no way in your lifetime would you ever yeah. really get to. Right. No. And even just watching it, like you know, you, when we see, saw the. Um, Space shuttle missions and stuff, you get some onboard cameras and stuff. It just, it doesn't it's compare. Not it's not the same. Yeah, this That's is like amazing. A, a oh, look, he's looking out the oh. window <laughs> at the Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I used my uh, recording of this just because it was a, a higher frame rate. I forgot when I did the recording for, for Ron. Unfortunately, I did it at uh, 30 frames per second. So it was, I decided to, to use the one that I did because it was a little bit better mm -hmm. that we're watching here. You suck. I know, I'm kind of a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it I also... I leaned out that window and looked straight down. I did you? <laughs> I actually stuck my head outside of the oh, spaceship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm looking. And then, because I didn't realize that it was going to cut to where you got to be out in space with nothing around you, mm. which is just amazing. Uh -huh. yeah. I think there's, yeah, yeah this. This, this part, God, this part where so you see amazing. the eastern seaboard. Yeah. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I'm repeating myself. <laughs> That's okay. And you get to you get to land on the moon too, and yeah. um, then take off again. I don't know. Well, we make just it that barely far, missed but... that crater. Yeah, I know yeah. That the landing is really cool. You're actually sitting in the um, in the module when you're doing the landing, so you can you can see. Um, I like how they had the um, 
the little indicator on the window so you could see the horizon, mm -hmm. like have the horizon lined up oh, and everything yeah. as you're coming down. Uh, it was really cool. Um, but yeah, you get to, to sit in it as you're landing. So you get to, you're like, oh no, we're, we're, we're going to touch down right now. Right. Wait, right now. Come on. <laughs> we're, we're almost there. We're there. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't need to have motion. Uh huh. Where yeah. You got the thud when oh, you, you get one of those seats that yeah. actually works. With. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, that would be really neat. On it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause get, it's really incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And yeah, as you're landing, you get to see the dust start kicking up as you yeah. get close and to everything. See that that yeah. was really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this just, it really kind of blew my mind. Um, they did a really good job, I think, of switching between, you know, the first person in, in the module mm -hmm. and then panning out to here where you can see just kind of the scale of things, uh, just really gives you an amazing perspective of the whole, their whole experience, I think. Wow. This is exactly what I mean when I say that the the um, prospect for education with VR is amazing. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. this was so much different than just reading about it or even watching a video about it. This was... This made me feel so connected with it. Yeah, you're actually there experiencing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And if kids can learn this way, mm -hmm. I mean... It's because this gives you real life memories. This isn't. Uh, there's studies about mm -hmm. it that when you when you do stuff in video games and in VR, it doesn't feel like a, a memory of like a TV show or something. This feels no. like a real memory. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is very realistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, except for it's condensed in time. It felt sure. like you really went on a trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to do you know 15 days or whatever it was they no, are in the, no, that, <laughs> sitting in a chair. Uh, your, yeah, butt, your butt would get sore. Yeah, <laughs> much, much like your motorcycle. That's butt. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I don't remember how much this was. This free? I don't no, know. no. This, this is was... like it's like twenty dollars or something. And it's worth it. Oh yeah, it's oh, every absolutely penny. worth. Yeah, every penny twenty bucks. Of it. Yeah, Jeez, that's cheap. <laughs> that's cheap. It is for you know, what you get you to know, do. Uh, one ride in an amusement park, and you pay more than that. That's true. That's yeah. true. And yep. it's it's to, it's a half an hour mm -hmm. of of experience, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. I would do this again in a heartbeat. Yeah, we may do it again later. <laughs> <laughs> and this time I'll get up and stand and walk around on the moon. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I'll we'll have you do that. Um, and there's actually, there's two different modes where you did, we all actually did the cinematic uh, version where you just watch and you mm -hmm. just sit there. Um, there's an interactive version that you can do where you, you actually dock with the which is we're coming up on I think here mm -hmm. um, where the which the must have been so module, stressful yeah the yeah. module disconnects and they have to reattach it so they read they dock um, yeah I think we're gonna do it right here let's see <laughs> oh okay we're well, no. gonna talk a little bit uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah so you can you there's I think there's two parts there's one where you're docking and then the other one where you're landing so you get to control. How you know the? Oh, you the, actually will move the. Yeah, I <laughs> but I always, I always like that to do the. Tense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine in real life? Oh, because I know. Because their yeah. their margin for error is just minuscule. Yeah. yeah. And there's yeah there's no no fire trucks no paramedics they're gonna come to to get you. If I you... believe this is mostly on, on manual because mm -hmm. at that time the computer, your phone has. Oh yeah. A thousand times more memory than the computers on those modules. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh yep. yeah. You know, this is like a they were like tinker toys to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, calculators have oh, yeah. <laughs> as much oh, power as some. Yeah. You know, much well, more. Isn't this graphic. in the time period where they didn't think it was possible for people to have home computers? Yeah. Because yeah, oh, yeah. they were so big. Uh, they, yeah, I mean, they measured the memory in kilobytes instead of right. gigabytes. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's it's amazing what they were able to accomplish mm -hmm. just with what what they had. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. We'll have, may have to try it and uh, see if we can can measure up and dock. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you we can't. Right. I don't think abort, I could. Abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much all I can think of. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, again, it's just it's so amazing. It is amazing. If they could improve the graphics in the module when they're taken off, and the and the face would get distorted because you're mm -hmm. going at about five Gs. Mm -hmm. And I looked over at them, and their faces were and normal. Just, and just that wasn't <laughs> the most realistic thing. They were uh -huh. just like they are there now. Right. 
yeah. they could distort the face, but that's just a matter of the graphics. Yep. They could probably do that. Yeah. yeah, graphic. They're still figuring out graphics in VR, so yeah. there's mm-hmm. there's that too. Yeah, our our poor rig is the bare minimum for for it, so it's you know. It'll it'll get better over time, obviously. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. even still, amazing. just just with what we've got, it's really cool. Um, yeah. Any last thoughts or? I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got time, so. <laughs> but I think we'll leave you with that. I got Have a, you? I got a plane ride, and it's not going to be near as interesting as this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the Apollo 11 VR experience? What do you think? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, let us know if there's a Vibe title you would like to see us review in the comments. And we will see you on the next one. Bye!